New at six, when the pandemic hit, a lot of businesses suffered, but sales of wine, beer, and liquor surged. And that had an un unexpected effect on the body for some. Ursula Perry reports that new research is shedding light on the link between alcohol and cancer. Many Americans are unaware that alcohol and cancer are linked. In fact, one study revealed fewer than a third of adults recognize alcohol as a cancer risk factor. However, alcohol is the third leading preventable cause of cancer behind tobacco and obesity. And another recent study found one in eight cases of breast cancer, one in 10 cases of colorectal and liver cancer are attributed to alcohol use. Yes, colon cancer incidence is on the rise in young patients. And certainly, tobacco use is a big factor, alcohol is a big factor. Several health organizations, including the American Society of Clinical Oncology, have called for the federal government to add a cancer warning to alcohol labels. And the American Cancer Society has issued recently new guidelines that warn there is no safe level of alcohol consumption for cancer prevention. Maybe I would probably cut back on it a little bit, but, you know, if it's a risk type scenario, I don't know that I would cut it out all the way. And those who do choose to drink should limit their intake to no more than two drinks a day for men and one drink a day for women. While many countries did experience an increase in drinking during the pandemic, according to the New York Times, Europe now has some of the highest rates in the world. And that may be why earlier this year, the European Union is working on perhaps adding new taxes, restrictions, and even new warnings to alcoholic beverages in an effort to reduce its cancer rate. Ursula Perry, KSAT 12 News.